We've all been there. You turn on your computer, load up your favourite game or spreadsheet, and it freezes. What do you do? Step 1. Acknowledge you have a problem. This can be hard for some people, especially if they spent hours and hours putting numbers into a spreadsheet. You can tell that there's a problem because it freezes when it shouldn't freeze, and the hard drive doesn't seem to be loading. Or, as you can see in this picture, the fraps thing isn't changing, when normally it's fluctuating all over the place all the time. If you're lucky enough to have something that says cancel, click on it, it might help. However, in this case, it hasn't, so we're going to have to go on to step two. Step two, safe fixes. If, like me, and your mouse is still working, there might still be hope. It's probably just that there's a problem with the program and not your computer in general, so perhaps other things that you've been doing at the same time can still be saved, like a YouTube video that you're uploading, for instance. Sometimes doing nothing can lessen the problem. For instance, if you're uploading a YouTube video at the same time as it crashing, like this, it could still upload in the background, so if you just give it time to finish uploading, that'll lessen the damage done by this crash. However, if the thing you've been working on has just crashed, which is probably the case, you're going to have to move on to different methods. There are a couple of magical key combinations which could help your computer. I'll go through some of them right now. Pressing Alt and Tab at the same time will help you to alternate between all the windows open. This could help, and it will show you how messed up your PC is if it doesn't work, like this. By holding down Alt and tapping Tab, it will switch between all the windows open. It, it's quite a useful thing to learn. Another one is to hold down the Windows button and press D. That will minimise everything open and go straight to your desktop, which is good if you want to hide something, say if someone comes into the room and you're watching something that you don't want them to watch. Still nothing? Wow, this is serious. Okay then, Control or Delete is the next one. Everyone probably knows it already. Just tap it a bit. Nothing. If nothing comes up, try holding it down. If the mouse cursor loads whilst it's doing this, then there could still be hope. Who knows, eventually it might come up with a control or delete menu, or at least part of it that you can click on and maximise. If it's still not working, I would start losing hope by now. But here's the last chance. Step 3. Extreme fixes. I removed these buttons from my older broken keyboards because I kept on accidentally pressing them instead of print screen whenever I got a good shot in Counter Strike and it would shut down my game halfway through a match or something. However, if you have any sleep or power buttons, you could try tapping one of them right now. Of course, there will have to be two conditions for this. Firstly, your keyboard must have these buttons, and secondly, it, they must actually be those buttons and not just put on, hoping that they'll work. And the final thing that you can attempt is just to restart your computer. However, if you tap the power button, it could just jump it into life, because it's happened for me a couple of times. Try holding it down for a couple of seconds. If nothing works, then hold it down for a bit longer and keep going until something happens. Either your computer will restart and everything will be okay again, or it'll fix your problem. 